It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tibbetts Physics. What is crappening? Today, we're going to look at the magnetic field surrounding a current carrying wire. Previously, we learned that as the Earth rotates on its axis, the particles are spinning in the eastward motion, and it creates a magnetic field in the vertical motion. So when we have a current carrying wire, when the particle, the positive charges move in one direction, the magnetic field is going to be perpendicular to the direction of the charged particles. So let's put that down. Magnetic field is perpendicular to the direction of the positive charges. To help us determine the direction of the magnetic field around a current carrying wire, we're going to utilize the second right-hand rule. And what we're going to look at is if we place a compass above or below the wire, and if we turn it on, there's then current flowing through it, which means the magnetic field will be perpendicular to the direction of the current. So the compass needle will point perpendicular to the wire. So in order to help us use the second right hand rule, we want to use a compass, a wire, and then obviously our right hand. So thing number one, or step one, is we want to use our palm. And we want to place our palm so it touches the compass first. So if the compass is on top of the wire, our palm is going to face into the page. If our compass is below the wire, our palm is going to face out of the page. So we first have to orient our palm, and our palm will then touch the compass, which will then either be above or below the wire. <clears throat> so first orient our palm. The second thing we want to do, and we learned this from the previous right-hand rule, is that our thumb still points in the direction of the positive charges. So thumb points in direction <clears throat> of positive charges. And remember the charges flow from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. Good tea right there. And then the last thing we want to do is just like before, our fingers point in the direction of the north magnetic field. So our fingers, we can say they point in the direction of the north magnetic field. They also curl around the wire, which is the direction of the magnetic field. So we can say they point slash curl in direction of north magnetic field. So why don't we look at a couple of examples um, on a piece of paper. Hey everybody, I figured I'd put my former skills as a hand model to good use. We're going to use this to look at the second right-hand rule, 
In this example, we have a wire with a positive charge on the left, negative charge on the right, and compass on top of the wire. So to help us represent a wire, we're going to use a hanger. And unfortunately, all compasses are sold out in stores. So we're going to use this piece of paper that looks like a compass. In this scenario, we have the compass on top of the wire. And according to the second right-hand rule, we want to place our palm on top of the compass and then touch the wire. So it's going to go palm, compass, wire. So our palm will be facing downwards. The second step is to have our thumb point in the direction of the charge, which is from the positive to the negative terminal. So we have to rotate our right arm. So our thumb is pointing towards the right. And as we could see, our fingers are pointing downwards. In this case, that's the direction of the north magnetic field on the compass. If we were to continue this magnetic field going around the compass, it's going to start going on top of the wire, and then it's going to go behind the wire. So that's the direction of the magnetic field. Oops. If we were to put the compass below the wire, so I'll draw a picture with the compass as best we can so it's underneath the wire. We'll take our hanger. We want the compass to go below the wire this time. So now our palm is going to come up from underneath. So it's going to go palm, compass, wire, but our palm is facing upwards this time. So when our palm is facing up, Notice our thumb is already pointing towards the right, the direction of the positive current. And our fingers are pointing upwards, the direction of the north magnetic field. So we can draw an arrow going upwards on our compass, representing the direction of the north magnetic field. If we were to continue this, if we were to curl our fingers around the wire, we can see that they're coming from underneath and then going out top in front of the wire, just like the previous picture. So it goes behind the wire and then out in front of the wire. So let's look at an example of the compass, or sorry, let's look at an example of a wire that's pointing um, vertical. So here we've got our wire. Let's say the positive terminals up top, negative terminals on the bottom. And we'll first start with the compass being on top of the wire. So we'll take our hanger slash wire. The compass is on top of the wire, which means our palm must face downwards because it has to touch the compass first. So it goes palm, compass, wire. Our thumb is pointing in the direction of the positive current, so we have to rotate it so our thumb points downwards. And then notice our fingers are pointing towards the left, the direction of the north magnetic field. So the magnetic field is pointing towards the left. If we were to draw this around the wire, it would be on top of the wire, and then it rotates and goes behind the wire. If we were to do the opposite and put the compass underneath the wire, so we'll draw a compass as best we can below the wire. Look at our hanger. So now the compass goes below the wire, which means our palm has to go underneath facing upwards. So our palm is facing up, but we have to rotate our thumb. So it's facing downwards. Sorry, I just broke my wrist. And notice our fingers are pointing towards the right, and that's the direction of the north magnetic field, towards the right. So the key thing for this is always make sure that your palm touches the compass first. If the compass is on top of the wire,